Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to review another custom ROM for Redmi Note 8. And this time we have Bootlogger ROM. And I have reviewed Bootlogger ROM before and the experience was quite good. But this time I have mixed feeling. So let's go and check out this ROM. By the way, I have been using this ROM for a weeks now and I know what's going on with this ROM. After using this time and I have found some strange bugs with this ROM. So let's go and check what we are getting with this ROM. First of all, let's go and check our Android version and what security patch we are getting here. So as you can see, bootloggers ROM and this is a stable version 7.1 and this is unofficial version, not the official one. As you can see, unofficial. I don't know they, why they don't release official version. I, I didn't get any official version yet. So the security patch level is March 5, 2023 and the uh, last month one. And the kernel you are getting here is Quicksilver Zinco. Quicksilver is actually known for good battery backup and stability. Anyway, I didn't see any stability here in this ROM. So, as you can see, uh, I have installed all the apps and everything. Everything is working just fine and it, it does actually works really great. Uh, but it has some few bugs which actually not really great. So first of all, when I have installed this ROM, it was working just fine two, three days. And I have start facing uh, bugs and other things after two, three days. I don't know how, why is that. So first of all, we have um, MIUI camera, which is really great. And it's work fine because it has uh, Pi lips and it's just work really great. So we don't have any issue with the camera. And if I open our Gcam, all the Gcam actually does work perfectly fine. Uh, we have no issue with Gcam and anything. So the cameras are working fine. The application, if you are used, you can restore the application and those will work just fine. And I have restored all the application from my previous ROM, even with the external data. So because I have, I'm, I play games on this phone, like Call of Duty, so I have backup all the data, even like about 5 gigabyte. So, and then restored all and it's working just fine. No issue about that. And also another feature of this ROM, it got Dolby Atmos and it does actually work really great. And you will feel that that the, the you are getting fuller sound from your phone and and if you use Bluetooth earphone also you will get that too. So it's really good that they, they put the Motorola uh, Dolby Atmos software here. I think every ROM should put this one and it is really great to have. And also another thing is that you are getting individual app volume so you can change individual app to it volume now come to the problem overall the rom is working just fine even uh the bank apps also you can install but now as i have rooted the device i cannot use bank apps but if you don't root your device you can use bank apps ctc is passed so you will not have any issue with bank apps now come to the bugs first of all as i said the rom was working just great but after some time, I was having some battery issue, first of all. Another thing I, have, I haven't I have mentioned is that if you go to the battery section here, so you will get right design capacity and measured capacity and even the charging cycle. How many cycles, how many times you have charged your phone. It is also present here. Uh, quite strange is that my battery capacity is still the same. But um, as you can see, I have charged over 1000 times. Uh, it is definitely true. Could be less, more or less, a little bit, because I've been using this device for three years, so it could be true. But I have no idea about that right now. And the design capacity and measured capacity are same. I don't know why. It should be degraded. The battery should be degraded. So I, maybe they are throwing some random numbers here. Could be that too. So the battery wake up actually uh, not really bad. I got about three, four, uh, maybe four hours of screen on time while playing games so i was playing whole day games and i was i got four hours of screen on time that's actually amazing if you play games but the problem is that if you use the phone in a regular basis also you will get the same kind of uh, battery backup which is strange so because uh if you play games it will consume much more battery than usual case but i have uh, I, s I have seen that that it is actually using same type of battery if you use even in regular in regular mode like Facebook and browsing and other things. Another thing is that um, it doesn't drain much actually. The battery doesn't drain much automatically. But if you use 
it will drain and also there is a heating issue so even if you use facebook and other things it, the phone getting hot i haven't faced this issue actually when i have installed this rom after using 2 3 days i have been facing this issue so that's why i said this rom has quite strange issues now come to the second point is that which is really um really need not really um for others it's not really a big problem but for me it's really big problem because i've been using this device and recording videos for other phones and everything so if i connect my device with this um um with my computer so as you can see i have connected my device and i got like uh usb debugging i have i have got this problem with other roms too in long before but i haven't faced this in recent times so as you can see this device actually does not show in my pc if i if i want connected device it doesn't switch controlled by you see controlled by and if i press file manager it doesn't show in my pc so it is quite it's strange because it is very big trouble for me because i i'm recording video with this device and i have to transfer those videos to my pc so it was really frustrating i don't know why it has this kind of issue even sometime you see i have removed the cable already but this option is still showing which is actually really bad and another bug which actually uh unforgivable one this is that we don't have any individual wifi and mobile data option which is strange actually they should put um individual wifi and data which is every rom actually giving this thing but i don't know why they don't put their things otherwise this rom actually quite amazing because it got everything and it works just just fine even fingerprint and everything just work fine so the main issue here is that battery shitting another thing is that if you use is with debugging for your computer it will have some issue like transferring the file and other things rather than that the rom actually working very fine i haven't faced that much problem because i have been using this all week now so if it has really big problem i have not been using this rom for this long so that's it out about bootloader rom and i will put the link in the description below you can download it from there thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time Thank <music> you.